Hello, everyone. Today we are going to see at the CSV module in Python. Reading and writing CSV files. Creating the own dialects and formats. Reader and writer objects methods. And examples of course. Please, write to the comments. How do you think about practical videos with more tasks and examples? Let's go! Main objects in CSV module are dict, reader, dict, writer, dialect, sniffer, error, reader method, and writer method. Reader CSV method returns a reader object which will iterate over lines in the given comma separated file. CSV file can be any object which supports the iterator protocol and returns a string each time its next method is called. If CSV file is a file object, it should be opened with new line equals empty. An optional dialect parameter can be given which is used to define a set of parameters specific to a particular CSV dialect. It may be an instance of a subclass of the dialect class or one of the strings returned by the list dialects function. The other optional FMT params keyword arguments can be given to override individual formatting parameters in the current dialect. Each row read from the CSV file is returned as a list of strings. Simple usage of reader CSV method. Take a look at the reader.csv file. Let's see the example of reading it. Import the CSV module. Open CSV file. Remember, if CSV file is a file object, it should be opened with new line as empty string. Create CSV file reader. Run CSV reader in for loop. Print each row. Run it in terminal. As you can see, each row is a sequence. Writer CSV method returns a writer object responsible for converting the user's data into delimited strings on the given file like object. CSV file can be any object with a write method. If CSV file is a file object, it should be opened with new line equals empty string. An optional dialect parameter can be given which is used to define a set of parameters specific to a particular CSV dialect. It may be an instance of a subclass of the dialect class or one of the strings returned by the list dialects function. The other optional FMT params keyword arguments can be given to override individual formatting parameters in the current dialect. None is written as empty cell. All other non-string data are stringified with str function before being written. Simple usage of writer CSV method. Import the CSV module. Open CSV file. Notice, file has to be opened in W mode for creating and writing. And remember, if CSV file is a file object, it should be opened with new line as empty string. Create CSV file writer object. Write the first row. Then write the second and the third rows with write rows method. Reader and worker objects work with sequence. Run it in terminal and open writer.csv file. See the results. CSV module constants. Quote all. Instructs writer object to quote all fields. Quote minimal, instructs writer object to only quote those fields which contain special characters such as delimiter, quote char or any of the characters in Lini Terminator. Quote non-numeric, instructs writer object to quote all non-numerical fields. Instructs the reader to convert all non-quoted fields to type float. Quote none, instructs writer object to never quote fields. When the current delimiter occurs in output data it is preceded by the current escape char character. If escape char is not set, the writer will raise error if any characters that require escaping are encountered. Dict reader CSV object. 
create an object that operates like a regular reader but maps the information in each row to a dictionary whose keys are given by the optional field names parameter. The field names parameter is a sequence. If field names is omitted, the values in the first row of phi left will be used as the field names. If a row has more fields than field names, the remaining data is put in a list and stored with the field name specified by Risky, which defaults to none. If a non-blank row has fewer fields than field names, the missing values are filled in with the value of restable, which defaults to none. Simple usage of dictreader CSV class. We have the CSV file called dictreader. Import the CSV module as usual. Open CSV file. Create CSV file reader. Run reader and for a loop. Print each row. Run it in terminal. In Python version greater than 3.6 but lower than 3.8 it returns order dict object. Starting from Python 3.8 it returns simple dictionary. Dict writer CSV class. Create an object which operates like a regular writer, but maps dictionaries onto output rows. The field names parameter is a sequence of keys, that identify the order in which values in the dictionary passed, to the right row method are written to file left. The optional restable parameter specifies the value to be written, if the dictionary is missing a key in field names. If the dictionary passed to the right row method contains a key not found in field names, the optional extra section parameter indicates what action to take. If it is set to raise, the default value, a value error is raised. If it is set to ignore, extra values in the dictionary are ignored. Note, that unlike the dictreader class, the field names parameter of the dictreader class is not optional. Simple usage of dictwriter CSV class. Import the CSV module. Open CSV file in writing mode. Create file name sequence. Create CSV file writer object. Before of all, write the headers, and then the first row and other. Run it in terminal and check the result file. Dialect CSV class. The dialect class is a container class relied on primarily for its attributes, which are used to define the parameters for a specific reader or writer instance. Default parameters of dialect class Delimiter, a one-character string used to separate fields. It defaults to comma. Double quote, controls how instances of quotes are appearing inside a field should themselves be quoted. When true, the character is doubled. When false, the escape char is used as a prefix to the quote char. It defaults to true. Escape char, a one character string used by the writer to escape the delimiter, if quoting is set to quote none and the quote char, if double quote is false. Line terminator, the string used to terminate lines produced by the writer. Quote char. A one character string used to quote fields containing special characters, such as the delimiter or quote char, or which contain new line characters. Quoting controls when quotes should be generated by the writer and recognized by the reader. It can take on any of the quote constants and defaults to quote minimum. Skip initial space, when true, white space immediately following the delimiter is ignored. The default is false. Strict, when true, raise exception error on bad CSV input. The default is false. Sniffer and error CSV classes. The sniffer class is used to deduce the format of a CSV file. Sniff method is used for analyzing the given sample and return a dialect subclass reflecting the parameters found. If the optional delimiters parameter is given, it is interpreted as a string containing possible valid delimiter characters. As header is used for analyzing the sample text and return true if the first row appears to be a series of column headers. Simple usage example. Import the CSV module. 
Open CSV file. Deduce dialect. Back to the start of the file. Read the CSV file and another code below. CSV error class is raised by any of the functions when an error is detected. Other methods of CSV module. Register dialect. Associate dialect with name. Name must be a string. Unregister dialect. Delete the dialect associated with name from the dialect registry. Get dialect. Return the dialect associated with name. List dialects. Return the names of all registered dialects. Field size limit. Returns the current maximum field size allowed by the parser. If new limit, optional parameter, is given, this becomes the new limit. Reader and Writer Object Methods CSV Reader Object has Next method, returns the next row of the reader object. Dialect, consists dialect used by the parser. Line noon, the number of lines read from the source iterator. Field names, return headers, if not, returns the first row. CSV Writer Object has Write row, write the row parameter to the writer's file. Write rows, write all elements in rows to the writer's file. Dialect, consists dialect used by the parser. Dict Writer Object has Write header, write a row with the field names to the writer's file. Thank you for watching. Please, support the channel by like to let the more people see this video. Leave comment. Share. Subscribe to the channel. Be safe. Bye.